This is Talk of Asian Marketing with a special emphasis on localized Chinese consumer behavior. Okay, well here we are, we're looking at the line that's going to Costco. Uh, wow. What do you think of that line, James? I think the thing you made, mentioned earlier is really interesting. When you first arrived this morning, it's like chaos. And <laughs> that uh, you, the police clearly had no idea that this many people were going to show up. But I've got a suspicion too, you know, that management weren't entirely sure they were going to get this many people. Well, they said they had a lot of people really? get the cards, yeah. but you never know what that means, right? Exactly, exactly. And they didn't even have these barriers. Where are the barriers? We've got oh, these yeah. little red tape. Yeah, over they didn't here. have barriers over there. So in fact, in the morning, yeah. the lines, mm. they were just figuring out how to loop them around at the back of the yeah, store. Yeah. So the line went like a snake on itself. Yeah. And the police were not here. The police Indeed. came a little yeah. bit later, and a lot of people in traffic were really yeah. not too happy about the whole thing. Yeah. But I mean, you got to admit, this is a really interesting event. Yeah. How much of this, though, are people being drawn in by the line to make the line? You know what I'm saying? That's How right. much of it is a self-generated kind of yeah. thing? No, I think that's, I mean, it's that burn out kind of effect in a real buzz here. Yeah, we can, we can people see it right here. <laughs> out by the parking lots, uh, we've got that whole lines of people generating a little bit of energy. I think there were some discount signs, weren't there, as yep. we came in. Yeah. In fact, they sent out a, bu a, a, a book of coupons. Yeah. Just the day before. Joe got his just the day before. I got mine a couple of days ago. Yeah. So the coupons, maybe that's playing a role too. People get those coupons, come on in. And they're handing out flyers right around the block. Yes, that's really interesting. I think that the fact that people are all the time sort of being drawn in by the staff and the line and so on, there's a lot of interest here. We can see behind us finally a few police turning up. So yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a lot of energy here, a lot of interest. Got another lady over there with a pack of eggs. I don't know what's in that box. There's a little mystery box. If you that's a idea. gift. That's some kind of snack, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm wondering some if it's some snack. sort of get, uh, cake, maybe, or something like that. I yeah. see lots of that, people walking around with that. Yeah, I think a lot of people here for the gift. And when Joe and I were leaving earlier, we saw a lot of people walking away with just the gift. Is it? And I've seen that happen so many times yeah, in Taiwan so and China, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've seen packs of people surrounding somewhere only to find out somebody's giving away umbrellas, you know, <laughs> or someone's giving away, you know, any kind of tissue paper. You know, anything okay. that's being given away just draws an instant crowd, right? It, it and everything that draws a crowd is an accident, a traffic accident. Uh, yes. So, you know, I don't know how they fit together. <laughs> yeah, James, you know, this store is really an amazing story, yeah, yeah. actually. Costco just began in 1985 yeah. and already in... 2007 has more than 500 stores. Jeez, that's a lot their revenue is uh, is quite large. Mm. Uh, they're in the rank with stores like Tesco. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, they're really the same kind of level as far as retail. Uh, of course, nobody gets up there with a Walmart. Yeah, but their yeah. their strategy is low price, uh, but a very focused selection. Can yeah. you compare that with any stores in the UK? Um, not that same kind of focus, because I think. Uh, the only one I can think of, and I'm trying to remember if it's uh, uh, an American store, is Fergal Quinn. That mm. literally, I think in a similar way, maybe to Costco, they analyzed really carefully what people wanted to buy and just shrunk down that line. I think down. we were talking earlier of a typical store having several hundred thousand items. Yeah. And these sort of chains, I think Costco is a real example. I think you mentioned a figure of like 4,000. 4,000. They have a, normally at Costco's 4,000 oh, items. 3,000 are the regular amazing. items. Yeah. 1,000 are just rotating whatever good That's deals true. they can get. Yeah. A Walmart super center, which are doing great in America, yeah. have more upwards of 150,000 different yeah. items, you know, all different kinds of selection yeah. that you want. So they just eliminate that totally. The interesting thing here is that surprises me is I think this store just went with what the founder feels are the right products. Uh. And they just go with that. In a way, it's that the Walmart effect too, you know, where Sam Walton has such a huge influence on the company. And he just sticks with those. And so you can see the same product selection everywhere. What surprises me is that when we go to Japan, where the store is quite popular, uh, when we go to Taiwan, where it seems to be popular, the selection is exactly the same. That's really interesting. Yes, in fact, I believe that they have some of the staff in the store have actually introduced people to, to the different sort of Western products and give people a feel for how they well, the be Well, the Costco used, back so. home, they had a lot of sampling. 
do they? Yes, Big I'm Carisha. sure that, that, that must go well. We'll see, I guess, some of that going on inside. That's got to be hot really here because that's so normal in Taiwan to do the sampling. In fact, that's a real part of generating that zone out feeling. The energy, it's bit, yeah. So that'll be really interesting when we get inside to take a look and see how what that, that sampling kind is, of works yeah. here. Yeah, I'd like to see if they pick up on that B&Q idea where you got to show people a little bit. Because yeah. there's a lot of stuff. I just saw a woman with a humongous bag of, <laughs> of crackers, you know, and chips. And you got to wonder, you know, what, what are people doing with all that? Do they know what it's for, you know? Exactly, you know. exactly. I think the way, like we talked a bit about with the B&Q kind of effect, the localization of service, getting people educated about yeah. how to use the product. Yeah, we just had a so. couple walk by and they had food that's bought from the food court. And Costco's food court is a big money maker for them. That's another surprise. And in Taiwan, it's hot too. So people go in there and buy these hot dogs and pizzas. In the U.S., it's the number three is pizza chain. <laughs> I'm kind of getting hungry. Yeah, yeah, it's getting me hungry too, you know. Yeah, I keep talking about that pizza. It's a long time since I've eaten pizza. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, I've heard a lot of things about their hot dogs and their, yeah. their things are at the food court. So it'd be interesting to go in there and see what that's like. So we're going to get consumer cam in there and take a look. You know, um, I'd like to get your impressions when we come out because you've exactly. never really been to a I'm category not, killer store like this. No, no, no. I've not been to like a Costco, obviously, a Scott Cup or mm -hmm. Tesco. Maybe Marks and Spencer, these other sort of uh, different formats and the local ones, the Charvet and the RT. So it'll be really interesting to see see how this, this goes. Because I'm really surprised that we've got one down in Kaohsiung, we've got some up north, we've got this one opening up here. I think it's really interesting to see. I guess next would be one in works. Tainan, right? I know, I'm getting scared, you know. Yeah, yeah it's scary, <laughs> it is a little bit scary, yeah. It's just opening up, so. It looks like a lot really of people walking out getting lunch is what it looks like to me. Yeah, so this, this, you know, the location, by the way, is not the best location in town. The mayor of Taichung was here today saying that he was really happy they could work out a deal yeah. because the land was not in use and they really wanted to get it moving. And I think it had something to do with the government. Joe was saying he heard it was government owned. And so, you know, yeah. it's not the best location. In a little while, we're going to go over to Costco. Uh, not Costco, we're going to go over to Carrefour that originally was at Tesco and yeah. it is a great location, is it, a really good location. They were really lucky I think with that one because they had big problems getting the locations. Mm. That's often a big deal for these foreign stores, getting access to the land with the zoning laws and Very the connections difficult. you need. So Very difficult. Some of the stores like Carrefour um, particularly, have used their partner, Uni President, to really facilitate that access. So yeah, that's something we got to look in. Yeah, I was trying to um, check it out the other day. I didn't find out many details. We got to look this up. Get Stephen to work with us a little yeah. bit here with his knowledge of local local retailing yeah, yeah. and see who Costco's hooked up with. So far, I haven't found that they have a major pr partner in the in the that's operation. Really interesting because that that becomes a really big deal because location is such a big 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 deal. Getting the footfall coming through. So, uh, I think part of it might also be Costco is well known for their uh, paying very well for their employees. And the mayor specifically mentioned today, number one, he was happy to use the land. So they probably got some big tax break. Uh, number two, he's happy to get the good jobs. Yeah, yeah. And he even said to the CEO, he said, you're not going to send anyone over from Seattle to work here, are you? <laughs> So the idea is, you know, they got Keep some good really jobs. Local, yeah. yes. And I don't know idea. if you've noticed, but it seems like a Carrefour, the, almost all the staff have become almost uh, high school, college kids. That's right. Yes, I, for sure. I've noticed that. I've noticed that trend in uh, in uh, 3C, the electrical yeah. store as well. Oh, yeah, so. that's really serious there. Yeah, yeah. Sure. All right.